In white, the new sensation of England, Henry Wharton from Leeds, who in his first two internationals for England has stopped his man inside a round both times. The man facing him tonight, Scotland's Jim Mayer from Dumfries. Wharton really has come from nowhere in the last few months to register the most amazing wins. He had a win in Poland inside Iran, and then in November at Bletchley against Ireland. He stopped his man there, Ray Close, in a minute and 34 seconds. But he's got a tough farmer's son here up against him, Jim Mayer from Castle Douglas, near Dumfries. style of mayor frustrating Orton Throws punches fast. Three good punches put together there, and Mayer took them well. done well to stand up to those. It reminds me of Nick Wilshire, the way uh, he fights Wharton. Same sort of build, same style. people around here tonight who thought that Wharton would do it again inside a round but they were wrong and Mayer has survived to come out for the second Wharton was born in Leeds but he's lived in York since he was a boy but he boxes for the Leeds club Bass and Patrick's and the trainer there, Terry Neal, describes Wharton as the hardest hitter I've ever come across. <laughs> Two thumping great lefts to the head, and Mayer is over for the first time. I felt those out here. And Mayer looks for his corner, He's gone, the towel is in, all over, and the referee's shaking his head, but Dick McTaggart has already thrown the towel in behind the referee, and uh, Mayer's been counted out on his feet because the referee knew very well there was no point in letting him go in to take two more like that. So once again, Henry Wharton, not in the first, time, first round this time, but in the second, has demonstrated what a thumping great puncher he is and what a fine prospect he is. This young man who lives in York, but boxes out of Leeds, Henry Wharton, his third successive inside the distance win for England. Kevin Hickey, 10 bouts to two, um, a, satisfactory, a satisfactory evening's result for you? I think so, yeah, we, was, we were well pleased. Um, at some weights we weren't represented, and so people like Peter English of Featherweight and Henry Akinwandi 
the heavyweight weren't on a view. Um, one or two weights, the John Lyons, for example, at flyweight, Neville Brown at light middle. So in some weights, we did.